Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this live session regarding monthly current affairs for September 2018. How are you people? Hope you are fit and fine and pre your uh, preparation is going on well. So in this session we are going to see the monthly current affairs for the month of September 2018. Okay, how was your RRB PO mains examination or RRB clerk mains examination? Hope you have written well and uh, we have the ibps po prelims after that we'll be having the mains examination so we need to prepare well so that we can score well okay so moving on to the monthly current affairs for the september 2018 okay yes hope you can see my screen note down your score we shall see at the last i'll be fast i'll be giving only five seconds for each question so that we will complete this session as soon as possible and you don't feel bored okay if you want if you want to stop anywhere please repeat the session or pause the session okay moving on to the first question of the day so the first question says who is the author of the book moving on moving forward a year in office is it sumitra mahajan anand sharma arun jaitley narendra modi venkai naidu you have to take only five seconds and note down your score moving on moving forward a year in office and be active in giving the answers so that you will remember the question or the topic relevant to it very easily so what is the right answer yes the, this book was written by venkai naidu the vice president of india he has completed recently one year in office so he has written this book moving on or moving forward a year in office Okay, Vice President is the ex officio chairman of Rajya Sabha. Moving on to the next question, which sports person has been appointed as the new brand ambassador of BSNL? Is it Mary Kom, Neeraj Chopra, Rani Rampal, PV Sindhu, Bhajrang, Punia? Somebody says, please conduct daily classes. We are doing already weekly current affairs on every Monday for the Talent Sprint Premium students. You can please enroll in that and we have daily quizzes also regarding current affairs as well as banking awareness so who was appointed as a new brand ambassador of bsnl it is the boxing champion from manipur she is from manipur okay she was appointed as a new brand ambassador of bsnl next question which state government has decided to organize employment camps for martyrs families so recently Shahid Saman Divas was also celebrated by the same state which is that state. So it belongs to the state of India that is Madhya Pradesh. Right. So Madhya Pradesh has decided to organize employment caps for martyr families. Also it has celebrated August 15 that is Indian Independence Day as Shahid Saman Divas okay to honor the martyrs who has been recently appointed as the sbi managing director very important question who has been recently appointed as the sbi managing director who is it it is anshula khan she was appointed as the recent appointment for the managing director post of SBI okay clear with this moving on to the next question the shareholders of which bank recently cleared the amalgamation of capital first with the private sector lender capital first has was merged with which of the following banks yes the right answer is IDFC Bank which is a private sector bank it has merged or taken into the capital first services okay moving on to the next question for the first quarter of fiscal year 19 India's current account deficit widened to how much billion which is around 2.4 percentage of country's GDP how much is a current account deficit when you have when you have deficit when imports are more than exports both for goods as well as services 
when exports are more it is current account surplus so it was 15.8 billion US dollars the current account deficit for the first quarter that is from April to June of fiscal year 2018 to 19 next who has been appointed as the MD and CEO of SBI mutual fund recently we have seen SBI managing director that is Anshula Kant right so for SBI mutual fund it is Ashwani Bhatia he was appointed as the MD and CEO of SBI mutual fund which Indian woman writer has authored a new novel called the rule breakers the rule breakers I think I've already discussed this question in my 100 MCQs too yes it is Preeti Shanoi she has written this book called the rule breakers recently it was released so there may be a question on it so who has said it, it has tied up with the team Temasek to form a joint venture that will support the Singapore based companies digital transformation journey so who has tied up with Temasek so it is Infosys Infosys has tied up for the digital transformation journey along with Temasek company next which of the athletes is known as Ding Express and was appointed as sports ambassador for the state of Assam sports ambassador for the state of Assam it is obviously Hima Das Hima Das recently she has received the Arjuna award also Hima Das the famous he, she is known as Ding Express she has performed very well at the Asian Games 2018 so she was appointed as a brand ambassador of Assam state Apurti mobile app is an e-procurement system related to Apurti Mo mobile app yes it is related to Indian Railways Indian Railways e procurement system recently launched by Minister for Railways and Coal Piyush Koyal okay moving on to the next question Facebook is set to build 1 billion data 1 billion US dollars data center in which of the following places which is its first data center in Asia Facebook is set to build its first 1 billion data center in, in which of the following places yes it is in Singapore Singapore is the right answer the first data center of Facebook will be coming up in Singapore next who has won the 57th edition of Dilip Trophy in cricket Dulif Trophy is generally related to cricket also recently we have uh, Vijay Hazare Trophy is also going on which is also related to cricket only the other trophy CK Naidu Trophy all these are related to cricket okay India blue has won against India red to win the 57th edition of Dilip Trophy in cricket which noted Odia poet will be honored with the prestigious 39th edition of Sarala Puraskar award 2018 39th edition of Sarala Puraskar award yes it is Shatrugna Pandav Shatrugna Pandav will be awarded this Sarala Puraskar award for his contribution to Indian literature okay moving on to the next question who has been appointed as the permanent captain of Brazilian football team 
Brazilian football team as the permanent captain of Brazilian football team. Who is it? Obviously its neighbor, the Brazilian footballer was appointed as the permanent captain of Brazilian football team. The Second World Hindu Congress was held at Second World Hindu Congress The World Hindu Congress generally World Hindu Congress was first held at Chicago Obviously Swami Vivekananda has given his first speech So obviously it is in Chicago only Okay in 1893 he has attended this session, the first session, the second uh, World Hindu Congress recently held. The Vice President of India has attended it. NGT has formed a monetary committee to prepare an action plan on ground recharge, groundwater recharge in Delhi. It is headed by which of the following? National Green Tribunal, it was formed through NGT Act 2010. Adarsh Kumar Goyal is the chairman or chairperson. Its headquarters is in New Delhi. So, this committee was headed by SP Gurg for the groundwater recharge in Delhi. Next, Union Government has increased the monetary limit for filing cases in debt recovery tribunals to up to how much rupees lakhs. Earlier it was 10 lakh rupees. The minimum amount to go to a debt recovery tribunal. So now it is 20 lakh rupees. So it is raised to 20 lakh rupees for filing cases at debt recovery tribunals. President Ramnath Kovind has visited Czech Republic recently. The currency of Czech Republic is Yes, it is. The capital of Czech Republic is Prague. The currency is Corona. Corona is the right answer. So Czech Republic's currency is Corona. Which state legislative assembly has passed a resolution for a legislative council? Which state legislative assembly has passed the resolution for a legislative council? Which is it? It is Odisha, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra and Karnataka. These seven have legislative council that is the second house. Now Odisha wants second house so it will become the eighth state to have a legislative council. Union Home Minister has inaugurated Defense and Homeland Security Expo and conference at which of the following places? Union Home Minister has inaugurated Defense and Homeland Security Expo and conference at which of the following places? It is obviously at New Delhi it was inaugurated by the Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh. He is from Lucknow, Lok Sabha constituency. Next. For the first time in nine years, since 2009, RBI has bought how much tons of gold recently in September 2018? Yes, it has bought 8.46 tons of gold to keep it as 
foreign exchange reserves okay by rbi singapore based global investment firm has signed an investment agreement to invest up to 400 million us dollars in the national investment and infrastructure fund of india which of the following has tied up with niif NIF, MD and CEO is Sujay Bose. It is used for the funding the infrastructure projects. So obviously it is Temasek. We have seen just now, right? Next. Recently India had 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue and signed the Communications Compatibility and Security Agreement. Come Kasa with. I think very easy question. 2 plus 2 means? The defense minister and external affairs minister of both sides they had a meeting two plus two talks at New Delhi recently so India plus US next which has become the first Bollywood movie to be ever released in Saudi Arabia. First Bollywood movie, first Indian movie was from South India. It is Kala recently that was released. And first, uh, this is South Indian. So next is Bollywood movie is Gold of Akshay Kumar was released in Saudi Arabia recently okay India's rank in theft ranking for countries with weapons usable nuclear materials according to nuclear security index released by US based nuclear threat initiative India's rank in theft ranking for countries with weapons usable nuclear materials. India first was Finland and India was ranked 19th in the theft ranking in the nuclear materials weapons usable index. Which of the following is are not correctly paid? You have to choose which one is not correctly paid don't take much more than five seconds to answer the question so that we can see lot of questions so that you can attempt more questions in the actual main examination that is my opinion so india and sri lanka's linux is right rapid trident recently ukraine has tied up with nato Okay, it was held at Ukraine. Avia Indra is between the navies of India and Russia. IO wave, it is a mock tsunami, uh, mock drill for tsunami. It was conducted in Indian Ocean. And Milex 2018 is not for BRICS, it is for BIMSTEC. Okay, Bay of Bengal Initiative for multi-sectoral technical and economic cooperation how to remember b stands for bhutan and bangladesh i stands for india m stands for myanmar s stands for sri lanka t stands for thailand plus there is one more that is nepal okay it's totally seven nations are there and its secretariat is at Dhaka. Okay, recently the BIMSTEC summit was also held at Kathmandu in Nepal. Okay, so Milex is of BIMSTEC. Who has been re elected as the Cambodia's Prime Minister for second five year term? Scott Morrison. So who was it? It is 
Hun Sen. Hun Sen was elected for Cambodia. Emerson Magangwa is for Zimbabwe. Ari Falvi. This question was asked in recent IBPS examination for Pakistan as the president of Pakistan. Smart Morrison is for Australia. And Uvak Duvuk is for Colombia. So the right answer is Hun Sen for Cambodia. Okay, Cambodia's capital is Phnom Penh and its currency is real. Okay, which of the following cities is the venue of International Aviation Summit 2018? So, generally, if the events are in New Delhi, don't remember it. If they are at other than New Delhi, like Mumbai. Hyderabad, Jaipur, like that. So remember them. So that you can easily say New Delhi and others. Most of these events will be at New Delhi, right? So remember like that. So obviously, International Aviation Summit was held at New Delhi. Next. Under Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana scheme, overdraft facility has been increased from 5,000 to how much rupees? Recently, PMJDY was made open-ended scheme. Open-ended means no end. So, overdraft facility was increased from 5,000 to 10,000. Accidental insurance was increased from 1 lakh to 2 lakhs. Okay, and age ga age limit was extended from a eight, earlier 18 to 60 years. Now 18 to 65 years. This is very important. Okay, so 10,000 under Pradhan Mantri Chandan Yojana scheme overdraft facility. And there is a condition earlier. Now up to 2,000 rupees, there are no conditions. Earlier, uh, if, you, if you want to get an overdraft, after the six months behavior of the customer, you will get that 6,000. For up to 2,000 rupees, there is no such condition. Under Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana, the revised age limits are just now we have seen it is 18 to 65 years, earlier 18 to 60 years, now 65 years. Same thing again, accidental insurance nowadays 2 lakh rupees. Recently, which of the following has launched the first trade finance scorecard, a new tool to address market gaps from the unintended consequences of global measures to fight money laundering and terrorism. So who has launched this first trade finance card is a question. It is obviously Asian Development Bank, which is headquartered at Mandalayong at Manila of Philippines okay its president is Takahiko Nakao and vice president is DJ Pandian who is an Indian okay clear next which state government has decided to provide free mobile phones to women of BPL families free mobile phones to women of BPL families recently we have seen mobile Tihar in Chhattisgarh right Raman Singh under Sanchar Kranti Yojana free mobile phones were given to everyone that is for Chhattisgarh here mobile phones to women of BPL families was given by Rajasthan Basundra Raje government Kalyan Singh is the governor. Next. Who has been unanimously re elected as regional director for another five year term for WHO, that is World Health Organization position in Southeast Asia region?
so world health organization it is a premier health organization which is headquartered at geneva of switzerland please go through the static gk material which we have provided on talent spin platform it is free for everyone poonam ketrapal singh was appointed as the regional director for another five year term from india for who from the southeast asia region recently typhoon jebi has occurred in typhoon jebi typhoon means it is a type of cyclone as mentioned if it is if it occurs in pacific ocean it is typhoon if it occurs in atlantic ocean it is hurricane if it occurs in indian ocean it is tropical cyclone if it occurs in australia it, it is willy willy typhoon japan has hit japan so remember jj typhoon mankut recently it has hit philippines right mankut mp and hurricane florence in atlantic ocean it has hit usa particularly the north carolina okay next which country is host to the international women entrepreneurship summit 2018 international women entrepreneurship summit 2018 yes it was held at kathmandu of nepal international women entrepreneurship summit who among the following is to be conferred with means she was already conferred with the smita patil memorial award 2018 think very easy question smita patil memorial award was given to anushka sharma anushka sharma has received this smita patil memorial award 2018 International Day of Charity is observed every year on International Day of Charity International Day of Charity is observed on 3rd september 3rd september is the right answer sorry okay and 8th september is observed as international literacy day literacy day international literacy day is 8th september and its theme is literacy and skills development remember the themes also literacy and skills development theme of international literacy day and 10th september is world suicide prevention day okay working together to prevent suicide next 15 september is national engineers day what is the birthday of moksha gundam vishweshwaraya as well as international day of democracy national engineers day the theme is digital transformation for a new that is a new indian new industrial revolution an international Demo day of democracy democracy under strain solution for a changing world okay hope you can see this democracy under strain solution for changing world and 16 september is international day for the protection of 
ozone layer you know right ozone layer protects us from the harmful uv rays which it is located in the stratosphere the theme is uh, keep cool and carry on the montreal protocol the montreal protocol is related to ozone layer protection okay so the answer for this question is international day of charity is observed on 5th september next which of the following companies has become the second u.s company to reach one trillion u.s dollars in value somebody asks how you remembered all these themes interest when you have interest in movies you will remember the story right so when you have interest in something you will remember everything okay so first u.s company was apple second u.s company is amazon jeff bezos right so amazon has become the second u.s company to reach the one trillion u.s dollars indo kazakhstan joint military exercise is named as indo kazakhstan joint military exercise yes the right answer is kaz in this is a joint military exercise between india and kazakhstan okay the government of india has provided first ever financial support to which international sporting event for participation in england the ministry of youth affairs and sports who is the minister rajyavardhan singh rathor He is from Jaipur Rural Constituency, Lok Sabha. Okay, so it was provided for the Kabaddi teams from India to participate in England. Dr. Sarvepalli Radha Krishnan, we celebrate National Teachers Day on September 5th, right? And October 5th is World Teachers Day. So he was a dash vice president and dash president of India. Yes, it is. He was a first vice president and second president of India. First president was Rajendra Prasad. Second president is Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan. First vice president is Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan. National Nutrition Month is observed in the month of. We call it as Poshan Ma in Hindi. Observed by the Ministry of Women and Child Development. Menaka Gandhi is a minister. Okay, it is observed obviously. We are dealing with September current affairs. So, September. Okay. Which nations were ranked first and second in India's FDI charts? Foreign direct investments. It is obviously generally we Mauritius and Singapore will shift their places. So sometimes Singapore will come first or sometimes Mauritius will come first. For this time, the first is at Mauritius, second is at Singapore. SBI has recently opened e-facilitation facility for army veterans in which of the following places? SBI has recently opened e-facilitation facilities for army veterans in which of the following places? It is West Bengal, right? Next, SEBI's income has stood at how much rupees crore in the fiscal year 2017? SEBI's income 
stood at how much rupees crore in fiscal year 2017 it is 752 rupees crores in the fiscal year 2018 sebi the securities and exchange board of india which is headquartered at mumbai which is a regulator of capital market in india total capital market including mutual funds commodities derivatives etc every all capital market will be regulated by sebi India and which of the following has inked two MOUs on financial intelligence sharing and environment? It is Cyprus. Cyprus is the right answer. Okay, Cyprus capital is Nicosia and its currency is Euro. So Cyprus has inked this MOU with India in terms of financial intelligence sharing and environment. Who has won silver medal in the junior girls shooting trap event of International Shooting Sport Federation World Championship held in Changwon, South Korea? So who has won the silver medal recently? It is Manisha Kheer. She has won this silver medal in the shooting trap event for girls. Who has been sworn in as the first female High Court Chief Justice in Pakistan? Hope you remember. Krishna Kumar Kohli. She is the first Hindu or Dalit advocate right it's not sunita parmar sunita parmar has contested okay tahira sabdar is a first female high court chief justice in pakistan Okay, she has contested in one of the elections, that is Sunita Parmar. Which country is host to the 4th International Ayurveda Congress, IAVC 2018? Fourth International Ayurveda Congress was held in Netherlands. Okay, Netherlands capital is Amsterdam. Okay, it also uses uh, the euro. Next. Which Indian men's bridge pair have created history by clinching India's first ever gold in bridge at the Asian Games 2018? For the first time, bridge event. Bridge is like uh, playing cards. So it is Pranab Bardhan and Shibnath Sarkar, they have won this bridge gold in the Asian Games 2018. Who has been elected as the new chairman of Indian Banks Association? Indian Banks Association. It is the chairman of the MDN CEO or chairman of Punjab National Bank was appointed as the Chairman of Indian Banks Association, Sunil Mehta. Which of the following has won the India's only boxing gold at the 18 Asian Games 2018? Yes, who has won the boxing gold? It is Amit Pangal. He has won the only boxing gold for India at the 18th Asian Games 2018. GST revenue collection for August 2018 stood at how much rupees crore? Recently we have got the data for September also. It is around 94,442 crores. And for August, take a tabular column and note down somewhere. Mostly they will not ask you this question. 
but we need to be ready for every question so that we are in the competition and we are in the winning place so what is the right answer it is 93,960 crores for August 2018 take a table or column at least for six months for IBPS remember they'll ask you six months current affairs last year also this has happened this year also for RRB PO mains it has happened for IBPS PO also it will happen the same they'll ask you for the first six months current affairs who took charge as the CMD of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited? HAL. HAL is headquartered at Bangalore. Recently it is news because of the Rafale deal with the France, right? So who has taken the CMD post of HAL? It is R. Madhavan. R. Madhavan has taken the CMD post of HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Sixth East Asia Summit and 15th India ASEAN Economic Ministers Meeting was held in. Is it Beijing, Hanoi, Bangkok, Singapore, or Kuala Lumpur? ASEAN you know right Association of Southeast Asian Nations its headquarters is at Jakarta it is a grouping of 10 members ASEAN this 10 plus 6 is nothing but East Asia Summit or RCEP Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership so it was held at Singapore Singapore is the right answer Singapore's capital is Singapore and Singapore dollar is the currency. Who has been named as the most valuable player of 2018 Asian Games? So why valuable player means? She has won 6 gold and 6, sorry, 2 silver at the 2018. 2014 was held at Incheon, South Korea. 2022 will be held at Hangzhou, China. Okay, it is Iki Rikako has won. She is a Japanese swimmer. Okay, next. Who has clinched gold at World Youth Boxing in Budapest recently? World Youth Boxing in Budapest. Yes, it is. Shakshi Chaudhary has won this World Youth Boxing Gold at Budapest, which is the capital of Hungary. Sagar Mata Friendship 2018 is between which of the following countries? It is between China and Nepal. Sagar Mata Friendship 2018. The military exercise is between Nepal and China. Who is the head of the committee to look into the harrowing arrest and alleged torture of former space scientist Nambi Narayan in the ISRO spy candle? Nambi Narayan is a famous ISRO scientist. He was arrested on the reason of treason, that is cheating the country and giving the details of the Indian space program to others so that's why he was arrested so who is going to head the committee to look into this controversy so it is DK Jain DK Jain will be looking into this controversy which Indian sports person has become the first bowler in women's cricket to pick 300 international Wicket. She has also picked 200, that is, was also a record, and 300 also, that was also a record. It is like none other than Julan Goswami from Indian cricket team. India and France have signed an implementation agreement on mobilize your city to support which of the following cities, particularly regarding urban mobility. 
reducing the pollution is the main agenda okay and increasing the renewable fuels usage usage it is nagpur kochi and ahmedabad okay remember khan kochi ahmedabad nagpur and it is between india and france mobilize your city initiative which bollywood personality has been honored with meryl streep award for excellence meryl streep award for excellence yes it is aishwarya rai bachchan has received this meryl streep award smita patil award anushka sharma meryl streep award aishwarya rai bachchan what is the total fund outlay for the recent dairy processing and infrastructure development fund scheme which provides financial assistance to cooperatives How much is the amount? It is ten thousand eight hundred and eighty-one crore is allocated for the dairy processing industry recently. India's first tribal circuit tourism project was launched in which state? Yes, it is Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh is the right answer. The first tribal circuit was launched in Chhattisgarh state. Wholesale inflation for August two thousand eighteen is. So take a tabular column. Wholesale inflation, CPI, and the core sector growth that is index of industrial production. Take for six months at least from March to September. and you are writing going to write the exam in october october you will not get the results means not get the inflation values you will get it in november so till september you note down the values like this okay clear generally they'll not ask you but they mostly if they want to ask they'll ask you the just if you are writing the exam in november mostly they'll ask you for september so it is 4.53 is the august inflation for wholesale inflation and cpi it is 3.69% and industrial production is 6.6% this is cpi and this is wpi okay next which nation has been at the bottom of 189 nations in the human development index 2017 released by UNDP Yes Niger is the bottom country in the 189 nations of HDI. First is Norway, and India stood at 130th position. Last year it was 131st. Now it is 130th. Okay, HDI values are given by UNDP, United Nations Development Program, which is headquartered at New York. From 1990 onwards, this was given. It was developed by. to economists mahbubul haq from pakistan and amartya sen from india you will get the pdf after the session is done you can see in the description andhra pradesh government has launched e raitu app to create the cashless agricultural ecosystem partnering with which of the following 
So e Raitu app was launched by Andhra Pradesh government. Chandra Babu Naidu is the chief minister. It was launched along with MasterCard. Asia Cup cricket was held in India has defeated the Bangladesh team to win the Asia Cup cricket 2018 it was held at Dubai of UAE the capital of UAE next Which state government has announced rupees 1 lakh interim relief for mob violence victims? One lakh interim relief for mob violence victims. So it was launched by the Bihar government for the mob lynching. You know, hope you remember the mob lynching committee also, right? What is the name of the committee? Rajiv Gauba, the secretary in Ministry of Home Affairs. He was appointed as the committee head of mob lynching committee. Which of the following is or are not correctly paid? There are six options. So that you will learn in one question. That is my intention. So you must say which is not correctly paid. Let me see who will answer correctly and faster. Not correctly paid. Yes. Jaipur Literacy Literature Festival was held at Houston. India's first corn festival was held at Madhya Pradesh. Nukai festival was held at Odisha. Marbat festival was held at Nagpur. Indra Jatra festival was held at Nepal. All of them are true. None of them is wrong. So all of them are right. Who has been renominated as the chairman of ethics committee for Lok Sabha? There will be a lot of committees for the Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha. So ethics committees will look into the ethics part, the decorum of the Lok Sabha like that. So it is LK Advani was appointed as the chairman of ethics committee of Lok Sabha. Okay. Next. India's one or two year old female athlete has won a gold medal at World Masters Athletics Championships. Somebody asked what is Nukai festival. It is a harvest festival like Bihu festival of Assam. Okay. And who is that? It is Man Kaur. She has won this gold medal at World Master Athletic Championships. She is one or two year old. For the implementation of new scheme, Pradhan Mantri Anadata I Sanrakshan Abhiyan, how much budget is allotted by the Government of India? Pradhan Mantri Annadatha Ai Sanrakshan Abhiyan. How much was allotted? It is 15,053 crores. This is for particularly for MSPs, minimum support price for various crops. This scheme will be used. Next. Who has been conferred with UN Interagency Task Force Award for his contribution towards pen prevention and control of non-communicable diseases like uh, diabetes that doesn't transmit from one to another with touch or cold or cough like that. Diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, all these doesn't transmit from one person to another. So it is Mano Jalani was appointed for the this award was given this award for his contribution towards non-communicable diseases prevention and control.
India's first ocean surveillance ship built by Hindustan Shipyard Limited is named as India's first ocean surveillance ship is named as VC triple one eight four. Which state government has recently signed pact with Indian Oil Corporation for ethanol plant? For ethanol plant, which state government has signed a pact? It is Haryana. Haryana is the right answer. Nowadays, ethanol blending is done in the petrol or diesel so that we will use lesser fossil fuels. Which country has stopped the India's top oil supplier in August 2018? India's top oil supplier in August 2018. It is Iraq. Iraq is the right answer. It has stopped the oil supplying nation for India for August 2018. Which of the following has launched India's first 205 ton dump truck? 205 ton dump truck. India's first 205 ton dump truck. It was launched by Bharat Earth Movers Limited which is based at Bangalore. Okay, this has launched India's first 205 ton dump truck. Railway Minister Piyush Goyal has launched a web portal named Dash wherein private and public sector undertakings can contribute their funds to develop amenities at Indian railway stations. What is the name of it? Yes, Iraq capital is Baghdad and uh, Dinar is the right answer. The right answer is Rail Sahyog. Rail Sahyog is right. Rail Madad, you know, right? For complaints, grievances. Spurti is regarding freight management or goods trains management. Okay. You know menu on wheels, all those. Mission Satyanishta is also launched by Indian Railways for ethics in public domain. This is also launched by Indian Railways. Peach Goel is a minister. Apsara U is a, is a or an. Apsara U. Apsara U, U is a uh, nuclear reactor plant. U stands for uranium. Okay, so this is a nuclear reactor plant. Sumer International Trade Show was held in which of the following places? Sumer International Trade Show was held in which of the following places? It was held at Turkey. Turkey was the right answer. India has represented it. Turkey's capital is Ankara and the currency is Lira. Who has become the first Indian wicket keeper to score a ton in England? That is 100 runs. Who is the first Indian wicket keeper? First Indian wicket keeper. It is Rishabh Pant. Rishabh Pant has taken this honor to score, to become the first Indian wicket keeper to score 100 runs against England. Which Indian software company has inked deal with Australian Open as official digital innovation partner? Official digital innovation partner.
Yes, it is Infosys. Infosys has tied up as the official digital innovation partner for Australian Open. Sadarmat, Anikat and Peddacheru irrigation tank which are first from India to get heritage, heritage irrigation structure status are in the state of. So they have got the first heritage irrigation structure status from India. They are in the state of is a question. They are across the Godavari River in the Telangana state. K. Chandrasekhar Rao is the chief minister and ESL Narsimhan is the governor. He is also the governor of Andhra Pradesh also. Who was recently conferred honoris causa by the University of Engineering and Management, Kolkata. This question was asked in recent IBPS examination. Who is it? It is Vivek Debroy. They have asked who is the chairman of Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council. Presently it is Vivek Debroy. He is also the full time member of Niti Ayok. Okay. He is the chairman of Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council. Next. Which airport has become the first in Asia which is set to use face recognition as boarding pass next year? Recently the scheme was launched Digi Yatra so that the airport passengers will be using the digital technology. So which is that airport? It is Kempagoda International Airport, Bangalore along with Hyderabad's Rajiv Gandhi International Airport will be getting this facial tech recognition technology for boarding pass from February 2019 onwards. Which of the following cities is a venue for fourth edition of World Summit on Accreditation? obviously New Delhi okay so remember if it is not in New Delhi just remember if it is New Delhi no need to remember okay so that we can skip some questions who has taken the charge as MD and CEO of Axis Bank after Shika Sharma has left so who has taken it is Amitabh Chaudhary Amitabh Chaudhary has taken this Sunil Mehta is for Punjab National Bank as well as Indian Banks Association. Okay, Rakesh Sharma recently has taken as IDBI chief, right? Because B. Sriram has quit. So Amitabh Chaudhary has taken the charge of MD and CEO of Axis Bank. Which of the following is are not, not correctly paired? Yes, Foxy mission is related to focusing optics, X-ray solar imager which is sent by NASA, it is right HY1C is by China and ISAT 2 to Farhat for determining the length and breadth of the ice sheets or glaciers it is also sent by NASA. Hope mission is by UAE on to Mars, it wants to send on to Mars by 2020. So all of the above are true. Who has won the men's singles of US Open? Men's singles of US Open it was won by Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic has also won the Wimbledon and US Open 2. Who has won the women singles of US Open? It is stunning Serena Williams 
Naomi Osaka of Japan has won the women's singles. Google has launched a new search engine named Dash for the scientific community. Yes, it is named as Dataset for the scientific community. Google has launched it. India's first railway university has started operations in. India's first railway university has started operations in. In the last year's budget, it was announced to set up India's first railway university at Vadodara of Gujarat. Okay. So Gujarat is the right answer and the Vadodara of Gujarat. Who has become the first Indian to win a medal in International Athletics Association Federation? International Association of Athletics Federation Continental Cup it is. Arpinder Singh, Arpinder Singh who has won the medal at Asian Games 2018 has won the first Indian medal at this Continental Cup. Chagos Islands which is in news recently is a disputed islands between which of the following countries? Chagos Islands it is between Mauritius and United Kingdom Mauritius and United Kingdom okay Mauritius uh, capital is Port Louis and its currency is Mauritian rupee India post payments bank has tied up with which software company to create network for unorganized retail IPPB is headquartered at New Delhi. Its tagline is Aapka Bank, Aapke Dwar. Okay, Suresh Sethi is MD and CEO, which is headquartered at New Delhi. It was tied up with FSSS, First Service Solutions. Just tied up with financial software and systems. Okay. What is the new interest rate for the public fraud and fund scheme? So recently they have asked for Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana or Sukanya Samriddhi account. PPF, they have asked this question. PPF is currently 8.0%. Earlier it was 7.6, 40 points it has increased. So earlier Sa Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana it was 8.1 now it is 8.5 remember PPF is currently 8.0% Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana is 8.5% name the monthly newsletter launched by Union Ministry of Micro Small and Medium Enterprises MSME Minister is presently Giriraj Singh Okay. It is MSME Insider. MSME Insider is the right answer. And uh, SIDB also comes under MSME only. Recently it has launched Udyam Abhilasha for entrepreneurs, right? So remember this. Next. Cyclone 30, the biggest cyclotron in India for medical application became operational in which city of India? Cyclone 30, the biggest cyclotron in India for medical application became operational in which city of India? So cyclo cyclotrons are generally useful for cancer therapies. It was launched at Kolkata is the right answer. 
Name the actors who have been signed as ambassadors of Skill India to promote the Skill India mission. I think hope you have seen the movie called Sui Daga, right? Sui Daga movie. The actors of Sui Daga. Yes. So Skill India campaign promotion. These two were um, appointed as the ambassadors. Varun Dhawan and Anushka Sharma. Name the author of the book Narendra Modi, a charismatic and visionary statesman that was released on PM Modi's 68th birthday, 17th September 2018. Yes, it was in it, written by the President of BJP, Amit Shah. Amit Shah has written this book. Who was appointed as the MD and CEO of Dena Bank? Dena Bank, short form of Dev Karan Nanji Bank. Recently, some 10 appointments were done for the respective public sector banks. We will see all of them at once. Yes, Karnam Shekhar was appointed for Dena Bank and SS Mallikarjun Rao was appointed for Allahabad Bank and AS Raji was appointed for Bank of Maharashtra and Atul Kumar Goyal was appointed for Yuko Bank, United Commercial Bank. S. Harishankar was appointed for Punjab and Sindh Bank. Hope you remember the headquarters. Okay. So we have seen the five of them. In the next question, we'll see the coming uh, question. We'll see the next five more. Which of the following has become the first state in Northeast India to introduce smart e-public distribution system? Smart e-public distribution system. It will be using the point of sale machines and biometrics so that to eliminate duplicates in the ration shops so it was arunachal pradesh this has used this smart e pub distribution system charkan government has inked an mou with dash for ayushman bharat scheme or pm jan arogya yojana pm jan arogya yojana which will be giving 5 lakhs per family for secondary and tertiary care. Which will be helping 10 crore families. That approximately 50 crore people. Okay, it was launched at Ranchi. That is of Charkhan, right? So it has partnered with National Insurance Company Limited. NICL okay which of the following union ministry has launched India's first ever online and centralized national database on sexual offenders that is NDSO it is Ministry of Home Affairs don't think Ministry of Women and Child Development has launched was launched by national this ND, national database on sexual offenders was run by ministry of home affairs it will be maintained by national crime record bureau of home affairs nsc that is national spot stock exchange has tied up with which of the following stock exchanges for dual listing of masala bonds masala bonds means these are rupee denominated bonds issued overseas or outside India so it has partnered with the London Stock Exchange particularly the index is FTSC Financial Times Stock Exchange World Rhino Day is observed on 
World Rhino Day, particularly rhinos, one horn rhinoceros is very famous at Assam's Kaziranga National Park and Manas National Park. So 21st September is observed as International Day of Peace. Okay. And uh, twenty second September is observed as World Rhino Day. Twenty third September is observed as International Day of Sign Languages. Twenty sixth September is observed as International Day for of total elimination of nuclear weapons and 27th September is observed as World Tourism Day and 29th September we observe as World Heart Day. Remember the International Day of Peace theme is Right to Peace. the 70th year of universal declaration of human rights okay so world rhino day is observed on 22nd september particularly by assam government right which of the following musicians and lyricists are supposed to compose 2018 hockey world cup title song it will be held at odisha 2018 hockey world cup so who is that? The famous A.R. Rahman and Gulzar. They will be composing this song for the 2018 Hockey World Cup. Yes. Tran Dai Kuang has passed away recently. He was the president of. Yes, World Heart Day theme, Your Heart, My Heart. Thank you. Tran Dai Quang has passed away recently. He belongs to Vietnam. Vietnam is the right answer. Vietnam is Dong is the currency. Hanoi is the capital. PM Modi has launched the Pradhan Mantri Jan Aragya Yojana or Ayushman Bharat Scheme or Health Protection Scheme. All are the same. It was launched at Ranchi of Jharkhand. I've told you 5 lakh per family will be given to benefit 10 crore families. Approximately 50 crore families will be benefited. Fitch ratings in its global economic outlook has increased India's growth rate for current physical to how much percentage from 7.4%. RBA has predicted 7.4%. IMF and World Bank have predicted 7.3 percent for 2018-19 recently there was how much CSO has predicted so there may be questions write down all of them at one at one place so that you can recollect them easily so it has predicted 7.8 percent earlier it has predicted 7.4 it has increased 40 basis points IRDAI has raised the minimum insurance cover for owner driver to how much for a premium of 750 rupees per annum. Minimum insurance cover for IRDAI Insurance Development Regulatory and Development Authority of India it is headquartered at Hyderabad. S.C. Kuntia is the chairman. It was raised to 15 lakh rupees with 750 per annum premium. Name the person who will be the first private moon tourist to fly on Big Falcon rocket of SpaceX around the moon in 2023. First private moon tourist. He is the Japanese entrepreneur. Who is it? It is Yusaku Mazao. 
sir approximately how many questions you will cover totally i have taken 200 questions we have completed around 150 i am thinking so we'll be completing 50 more so that you will not miss any question Veer Surendra Sai Airport is located in which state? Recently, the Jarsuguda Airport was renamed to Veer Surendra Sai Airport in Odisha. Veer Surendra Sai is a freedom fighter from Odisha. Okay. Who has been appointed as the MD and CEO of a syndicate bank? Syndicate bank. Yes. We have seen the five appointments. Now we will be seeing the five more appointments. So Mrutyunjay Mohapatra is again for syndicate bank. Padmaja Chunduru is for uh, Indian bank. Pallav Mohapatra is for Central Bank of India. J. Pakirisamy is for Andhra Bank. And Ashok Kumar Pradhan is for United Bank of India. So all 10 of them we have seen in two questions. So the answer for this question is Mrityunjay Mohapatra for Syndicate Bank. India has contributed how much for the installation of solar panels for UN building at the world's body's headquarters at New York. UN is situated at New York, United Nations. It is a grouping of 193 nations. So India has contributed how much? It has contributed 1 million US dollars is the right answer. World Bank Board has endorsed an ambitious five-year CPF for India. What does CPF stands for? It is Country Partnership Framework Agreement. was signed between India and World Bank, which is headquartered at Washington, D.C. There was recently, in I think uh, yesterday's exam, where is the headquarters of both IMF and World Bank? It is Washington DC. Clark mains will be very easy. You can clack it very easily. For PO mains, you have to study. Okay, at least for six months. For IBPS, you have to start from the first of the six months. First month of the six months. DRDO has successfully flight tested the indigenous developed Prahar missile. It is dash missile. Don't worry, PDF will be provided in the description. And if you are a talent sprint student, you can easily get that. So Prahar missile is a surface to surface missile. Surface to surface means, suppose this is the uh, missile system, this is the target. So it will be launching from surface and targeting the surface only. How much financial assistance was allotted to the union government for repair and safety of 198 dams in the country? So under the program called DRIP project, DRIP, Dam Rehabilitation and Improvement Project. Yes, it is. 3,466 crores was allotted for this project for repairing 198 dams in the country. To ensure transparency, Ministry of Dash has introduced budget dashboard. Budget dashboard was introduced by which of the following is the question. So that it will contain budget, expenditure and bill payment positions. Yes, DRDO chairman recently appointed G. Satish Reddy, headquarters is at New Delhi. So budget dashboard was launched by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. J.P. Nadda or Jagat Prakash Nadda is the minister. 
ISRO has set up India's first space incubation center in Yes, it was set up in Agartala, the capital of Tripura. Biplab Kumar Dev or Biplab Dev is a CM. Kaptan Singh Solanki is the governor. Next. Shinjo Abe has won comfortable re-election as leader of his ruling party, setting him on course to become the dash longest serving PM. I think very easy. Shinjo Abe is a, belongs to Japan. Tokyo is a capital. Japan is yen is a currency. ESIC that is Employee State Insurance Corporation has approved a new scheme to provide cash relief to unemployed insured persons. Unemployed insured person it is Atal Bhimit Vyakti Kalyan Yojana. This was launched by Employee State Insurance Corporation coming under Ministry of Labor and Employment. Who is the minister? Santosh Gangwar is a minister. Which country has rolled out world's first hydrogen power train? I think I have also mentioned in my 100 MCQs the same question. It is Germany. Its capital is Berlin and Euro is a currency. First hydrogen power train by Germany. If you hear two times any current affair, you, you, you can easily remember that current affair. No need to study also. That is one trick. Or if you see the current affairs twice or thrice, you will easily remember. Most of the questions will be directly taken. Who has been appointed as the new Atomic Energy Commission Chief? Atomic Energy Commission Chief, it is K.N. Vyas. K.N. Vyas was appointed as the new Atomic Energy Commission Chief under the Department of Atomic Energy. Tenzing Norgay Award was bestowed to Tenzing Norgay and Adman Hillary. They belong to mountaineering. They are the first people to climb the Mount Everest. It was given to INSV Tarini team, the six member all women team headed by Vartika Joshi. Okay. Which state is said to set up India's first cyber versity? I think cyber university. It is Maharashtra. Maharashtra is going to set up the first cyber versity. The CM is Devendra Fadnavis and Vidya Sagar Rao is the governor. First ever dial FIR or EFR scheme was launched by the police department of was launched by the police department of Uttar Pradesh government. Dial FIR or EFR. IPPB has tied up with which of the following to offer life insurance products. Earlier it has partnered with FSS, we have seen, right? So for life insurance products, it has tied up with
hope the sound is clear now yes so it was held at seoul south korea currency is one and it is also the currency for north korea name independent india's first woman is officer who has passed away recently it is anna malhotra who has passed away recently she is the first woman is officer who has passed away recently okay who has won the 2018 singapore grand prix yes it was won by lewis hamilton yesterday we have seen uh, the japanese grand prix also was won by lewis hamilton right the russian grand prix was also won by lewis Gra hamilton which state government has launched star rating system for industries to check air pollution the game you mention is coco right coco is the right answer it's not kabaddi which the minister ministry of youth affairs and sports has given some financial assistance so coco is right which state government has launched star rating system it is odisha has launched the star rating system for industries to check air pollution smart fencing project was inaugurated along international border between india and which are the following it was launched between our rival pakistan so that will be getting laser fences yes thanks sonam choudhury you have answered it well you have first caught the wrong answer very, very good first ever india tourism mart 2018 was started in first ever tourism mart 2018 was started at new delhi i have told you if it is in new delhi no need to remember if it is at other place remember that okay which of the following banks the union government wants to merge and make it the third largest indian bank the first is sbi second is icici and third will be the merger of bank of baroda vijaya bank and the dena bank clear yes who has been appointed as the chief financial officer of sbi cfo of rbi recently appointed was sudha balakrishnan so like this you have to relate the current affairs if you read any cfos coo of icici sandeep bakshi so like that you have to relate the things okay so cfo of sbi was prashant kumar was appointed as the cfo of sbi clear which state tourism has backed two pacific asia travel association gold awards for its innovating market campaigns pacific asia travel association gold awards was won by the kerala tourism for its innovating marketing campaigns okay next who has been appointed as a new chief of nhai national highway authority of india under the ministry of road transport nitin gadkari is a minister so who was appointed sanjeev ranjan sanjeev ranjan was appointed as a new chief of national highway authority of india India and which of the following have inked an MOU for construction of 5000 metric ton temperature controlled warehouse Yes 
India and Sri Lanka is the right answer. Jayavardhanapura is the capital and Sri Lankan rupee is the currency. Who has won the 2018 Japan Open Badminton Tournament Men's Singles? Men's Singles won by Kento Momata has won this Japan Open Badminton Men's Singles and Women's Singles was won by none other than Karolina Marin. Okay, she has also won the China Open also. Which of the following is India's first underwater robotic drone? ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle. It is none other than iRov, which was developed by a private company, iRov Tuna is the right answer it is the first underwater robotic drone for India India's indigenously developed weapon system MPATGM what does M stands for So M stands for man, man portable, don't think multi, it is man portable, anti-tank guided missile. Next, which of the following has lifted 2018 South Asian Football Federation Cup in the final at Bangabandhu Stadium at Dhaka? So this SAFF was held at Bangladesh. So who has won this? Maldives has won against India. It was held in Bangladesh. Okay, Maldives capital is Malé and uh, and recently Ibrahim Soli was appointed. Right, its currency is Rufia. R U F I Y A A. Mohammad Mausa Abdullah has become the new PM of. Mohammad Mausa Abdullah has become the new PM of Sudan. Sudan is the right answer. He has become the new PM of Sudan. Which state government has decided to create the post of five women to break gender stereotypes? Sudan's capital is Khartoum. K H A R T O U M. So it was launched by the Kerala government to break gender stereotypes. Recently, Sebarmala verdict also, right? Which of the following is the first country to successfully land robotic rovers on an asteroid named Raigu? That was launched by the Hayabusa spacecraft. So this has launched the robotic rovers on an asteroid named Raigu for the first time. So it is, Ibuza is related to Japan. Which of the following has become the first and only SAC country to have a quitline number on tobacco products? The only SAC country is India. On the tobacco products, 85 percentage is the picture only on both sides of the tobacco products. First only Sark country. Sark headquarters is at Kathmandu. The Nelson Mandela decade of peace declared by the United Nations recently is... Nelson Mandela Nelson Mandela Day is observed on 18th July. Okay. It is observed from 2019 to 2028. Nelson Mandela Decade of Peace. 
which country hosted the first ever women only foreign ministers conference first ever women only foreign ministers conference was held at canada canada is the right answer Canada's capital is Ottawa and its currency is dollar. Shamshir Singh Biss, the noted statehood agitator, has recently passed away. He is the noted statehood agitator of which of the following states? The Jharkhand, Uttarakhand, and Chhattisgarh were carved out in 2000. Telangana was carved out in 2014. Uttarakhand from Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand from Madhya Pradesh, sorry, Jharkhand from Bihar, and Chhattisgarh from Madhya Pradesh. These were carved out from the respective states, and he belongs to Uttarakhand or Uttaranchal. Earlier it was called as Uttaranchal. Which country is said to become the first, first country to double its tiger population? So it is Nepal. Nepal is going to double its tiger population under T by 2 initiative of World Wildlife Fund. It is headquartered at Gerland of Switzerland. Next. Who has been appointed as India's next ambassador to China? Next Indian ambassador to China it is Vikram Misri was appointed. For UK it is Ruchi Ganashya. Hope you remember. Name the country that has granted a loan of 5500 crore for the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project. Somebody says it is very confusing today. If you study daily current affairs, it will be very easy. When you gather all of them, it will be very confusing, right? But exam will be involving 3-4 months current affairs, or particularly 6 months current affairs. So obviously, bullet train is supported by for India by Japan. Union Minister for Electronics and IT, Ravi Shankar Prasad, has inaugurated Center for Excellence of Data Analytics in which of the following places? Obviously, New Delhi. What is other than New Delhi? Just remember. Which has signed a statement of intent with Oracle to pilot drug supply ch chain by using blockchain? It is Niti Aayog. Obviously, Niti Aayog has signed this statement of intent with Oracle for blockchain technology or drug supply chain. World Rabies Day is celebrated every year on. Rabies is caused because of dog's bite, right? is observed on September 28th. Which Indian airport has received the best airport award in the rest of India category for promotion of tourism? Promotion of tourism. It is Devi Ahilya Bai Holkar Airport Indoor and best airport is in the best airport category Sardar Vallabhai Patel and rest of India category Devi Ahalya Bai Airport Indoor. Which Indian airport has won the United Nations Environment Award that is Championships of Earth Award recently awarded to Modi and uh, Emmanuel Macron of France along with Kochi Airport for installing solar power panels. Solar power. Yes, they have one in the political leadership category. This is one in the energy category. Okay. The eighth Asian Yoga Sports Championship is being held in which city? 
it is held in Tiruvananthapuram of Kerala who has been appointed as the Director General of Border Security Force Border Security Force it was Rajni Khan Misra was appointed as the Director General of Border Security Force under the Ministry of Home Affairs somebody asks which newspaper you are reading should ask me which I am not reading central government has constituted Lokpal search committee under the chairmanship of which of the following so Lokpal search committee under the Ranj Ranjana Prakash Desai Lokpal act was passed to select the chairperson this Lokpal search committee will be useful the Supreme Court had declared Chandra's flagship Aadhaar scheme as constitutionally valid so which of the following are correct so which is mandatory and which is not mandatory we shall see now so mandatory is for pan linking as well as filing IT returns and non-mandatory is for linking bank accounts mobile phones school admissions okay so to link it is mandatory and uh, here the question is which is not true so second is not true other is not necessary for school admission it is true other is not necessary for welfare schemes we need uh, other okay so two and four should be the option the seventh national conference on excellence in workplace safety and occupational health was held in which city was held at obviously New Delhi cabinet has cleared a proposal to convert GSTN to how much percentage gas GSTN earlier government used to hold 49 percent equally by center and states that is 24.5 by center and 24.5 by other states and 51 percent by private people now this 51 percent will be held by the government totally it will become 100% GSTN is a service provider for the effective compliance of GST what is the name of mobile application launched by finance ministry as part of financial inclusion it is Jan Dhan Darshak is the right answer recently launched by to provide uh, information regarding financial service points to locate the branches ATMs all these are called as financial service points Arun Jaitley has launched a web portal name which will enable loans for MSMEs up to rupees 1 crore within minutes within dash minutes from SIDB and five public sector banks it is you will get PSB loans up to 1 crore rupees sorry up to 1000 crore rupees in 59 minutes from SIDB and is very important question that is PSB loans in 59 minutes.com the name of try will be changed to that is telecom regulatory authority of India will be changed to digital communications regulatory authority of India present try chairman is R S Sharma Rams Shevak Sharma SBI has sold 4% stake in SBI general insurance for 482 crores to access new opportunities fund and Premji invest now SBI 
has how much percentage in SBI general insurance? It has earlier it used to have 74 percent now it has sold 4 percent it has 70 percent India and Dash has signed an MOU regarding mutual cooperation in combating illicit trafficking and narcotics drugs and psychotropic substances so it has signed with Uzbekistan Uzbekistan is the right answer its capital is Tashkent and currency is SOM. India was ranked 96th among 162 countries in economic freedom in the world which was topped by it was topped by Hong Kong. India was ranked 96th in the economic freedom and Hong Kong was ranked first. Which state has built an ex exclusive crow park to prevent extinction of crows? For exclusive dark park has come at Hyderabad and exclusive crow park will be coming up at Madhya Pradesh. Environment Ministry has inaugurated air pollution control device named Vayu in New Delhi. What does Vayu stands for? The Vayu particularly it will cleanse the air, will take the polluted air and give out the filtered air. It is wind augmentation purifying unit. Okay. Who among the following has been awarded with the prestigious Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award? I think very easy question. It is the cricketer Virat Kohli and Saikom Mirabai Chanu, the weightlifter. Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan awardee Jasdev Singh has passed away recently. He belongs to which field? He is the famous hockey sports commentator, he has died recently. The second IRA that is Indian Ocean Rim Association Renewable Energy Ministerial Meeting and second Global Renewable Energy Investment Meeting and Expo was held in. It was held along with the first assembly of International Solar Alliance at New Delhi. Who has been appointed as the new Vice Chief of Indian Air Force? New Vice Chief of Indian Air Force, it is Anil Kosla was appointed as the new Vice Chief of Indian Air Force. Which state has ranked the best performing states in ease of living index under Amrut scheme? Amrut stands for Atal Mission for Regeneration and Urban Transformation under which 500 cities are developed by the Union Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry. So which state has performed best? It is Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh has topped the Ease of Living Index. So which company has launched Cyber Siksha, a three-year program to create a pool of skilled cyber security women professionals in the country? It is Microsoft has launched this Cyber Siksha to train women professionals in cyber security. Who has won the Maldivian presidential election? I have already told you it is Ibrahim, Maldivian Democratic Party leader, Ibrahim Mohamed Soli. The capital of Maldives is Malay and the currency is Rufia. Next. State-run BSNL has tied up with which of the following to roll 
5G and Internet of Things technology in India. Internet of Things means connecting everything to Internet. So it has partnered with SoftBank of Japan to roll out 5G and Internet of Things. Who has won the best male player at the best FIFA football awards in London? Yes, Luka Modic has won the best FIFA football award in London recently. FIFA's headquarters is at Zurich of Switzerland. Which movie has been selected for India's best foreign language category at the 91st Academy Awards or Oscar Awards 2019? It is obviously Village Rockstars of Assam. Rima Das is the director. New Development Bank of BRICS has approved how much million US dollars to Madhya Pradesh for infrastructure projects. Yes, it is 525 million NDB headquarters is at Shanghai. Okay. Who has taken as the charge of sale that is Steel Authority of India Limited? It is Anil Kumar Chaudhary has taken as the charge of sale. Actress Jay Prada was appointed as the Goodwill Ambassador for Tourism and Culture of. She was appointed for the Tourism and Culture of Nepal country. Which so last question of the day. 200th question which of the following has appointed Komal Lahiri as grievance officer in its biggest market this is the first time I am dealing 200 MCQs for a monthly session generally I used to cut I used to give only 150 MCQs I have given all the MCQs of the all weekly current affairs which we conduct at talent sprint Weekly Current Affairs is only available for the premium students of Talent Sprint and Komal Lahiri was appointed as the grievance officer for India. Okay, I think this is the last question. Which of the following has appointed as the first ever transaction advisor to Ministry of Defense? First ever transaction advisor to the Ministry of Defense. Minister, Minister for Defense is Nirmala Sitaraman and SBI Capital Markets has become the first ever transaction advisor to the Ministry of Defense. So thank you so much. Hope we have completed 200 MCQs. If you have not done your score, please let me know. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Yes, we are, we are having daily, weekly current affairs for the Talent Spin Premium students. You can enroll for that. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Okay.